something's here. Hidden. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McCraith, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Heaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe he'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? 
and if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him, in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you failed as a husband. Quick to anger, your cruel brutality left your wife in despair. You treat her as a possession. They stole my name and took my life. Tough. But now you leave Nelly alone. She's not yours and never was. My corpse rots in the cold abyss. My skin crawls with worms as the creatures of the deep consume me. That sounds unpleasant, so it will soon be over. I'm giving you the peaceful way out. 
Own yourself lucky. There is nothing left for you here. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. Let us know if you need anything. Anything. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do.
Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. <laughs> she was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> She was a wee thing, but strong. When we big men in armour, didn't they scare her? She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> in sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, and she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? Did what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea. You got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me. If they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. <laughs> <laughs>